Yes guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, after a long, long time in lockdown, it's finally the day that the UK eases those lockdown restrictions and we begin heading back to a life of normality, which is super, super exciting for everyone. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on my entire day. We go shopping, I show you how I get my hair cut, I show you my workout and a few of my routines. All things that can get you off to a more confident and better self. So let's get into the video. And if you do enjoy this video guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. You know what they say, win the morning and win the day. So up nice and early, usually between six and seven, and I always wake up to natural light. And by natural light, I mean an alarm clock that slowly wakes you up with natural light and bird sounds, which is a relaxing way to wake up to. I then take some of my supplements and vitamins, slug down the lemon and ginger tea. I do some stretching and mobility and then blitz the body with the Theragun just to loosen those muscles and make me feel alive. And just before we hit the gym, this may be the most important part of my morning routine. I even have to zoom into this because this coffee from Brickwood is none other than sensational. It's got this like chocolatey essence to it and the aroma is just next level. <laughs> and can we please take a moment for the most satisfying feeling in the world when you press down on the French press. Add in some flavour drops from my protein and we pour the coffee and we head to the gym. Let's go. I'm excited to go back to the gym. Oh, I'm excited, baby. If you do enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Massively helps me out, but right now, Will and I, twin one, off to the gym. First workout in an actual gym since December due to this damn pandemic. Let's get it done. We're not allowed to do any filming in there, though, because it's a private members club. Ooh, fancy. Private members club? Right. So, gym done and dusted. I'm absolutely buzzing. That was a good session. I did legs. I'll pop the workout here. So, if you guys want to follow along or give it a go, then yeah, give it a go. Let me know how it went. But it's really annoying because they only give timed slots at the gym at the moment. So, you have to be done within a certain time. And I was like rushing the last few sets. But now it's good to be back in the gym. Good to get a bit more atmosphere. Will and I are so done with that floor 12 mecca now. So, it's good to. Good to get in the gym. But anyway, grab some breakfast and then getting this haircut sorted out. All right, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Damn, guys, I say this every time I make this, but you have to try this recipe. <laughs> it's literally the perfect post workout meal. Let's eat. So, the time has finally come to get the haircut sorted. But today's OOTD is. Well, we'll start with the shoes. These are from Russell and Bromley, and they're their lace-up boots, which I absolutely love. Thoroughly recommend checking their boots out. They're insane. Got the River Island Sid, Skin Sid Skinny Black Jeans. They're lovely. And then I've got this brand new jacket, which is an oiler jacket from Boda Skins, and they're kind of oversized t-shirt as well. And then, if you can come in here, the jewelry is from Crafted London, and then the rings are from Serge Denims. Anyway, we're running late, as usual. You ready? Yeah, Let's go. Here we are on Beach Street. Excited to get my hair cut done. And there's already a queue. Let's go. So in the hot seat, time to get this barnet sorted out. And I like how it is, I like how the parking's here. I like the length on the top, so it literally probably won't take anything off the top, maybe like a tiny, tiny bit. But then just neaten up the sides, you get a scissor job. So yeah. just Back Side squared off and then just like scissors. So I usually fade it in so it starts a little bit shorter here and then gets obviously longer up the top. But nothing really nice, simple. Yeah, so I mean, nothing too long. No, I like it, look how it is at the moment. Just a little bit neater done. Is that alright? Cheers, dude. Thank you. I'm very picky. I'm a picky customer. So I don't want to, this guy's annoying. <laughs> Oxford Circus now after that haircut because we are popping to River Island because they've kindly invited us in to go through some outfits and check out their new collection and I'm not gonna lie Oxford Street is crazy there are queues all the way for Primark and all the other stores so yeah everyone's obviously missed that shopping buzz I guess we have as well so it's nice to see people out and about and doing their best I guess to keep social distancing but how long will that last for who knows Anyway, let's get to River Island and 
I'll show you guys some of their new collection. I'm looking forward to picking up some bits. Shoes galore. Right then, Rumor of Ireland, and basically on their men's, a whole men's floor here. And they've given us free reign, we're allowed to choose whatever we want. So I'm going to collect some bits. I'm not going to go overboard because my wardrobe is already too full. But I'll show you guys exactly what I collect. Let's get shopping because they've got their entire new collection here and they've got some lovely pieces. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys exactly what I collect. We've just got back from River Island, picked up some lovely bits. I'll be showing you guys exactly what I got, but first come first, because I'm absolutely starving, I need some food. And Will and I are on these fresh fitness food meals. Honestly, getting your meals delivered to you just saves you so much time. The amount of time we travel through London and everything like that, we don't have time to cook all the time. So getting these meals delivered to you is just a godsend. So definitely worth checking them out. They're called Fresh Fitness Food. So yeah, gonna dig into this and then I'll get into those outfits and show you guys them straight away. So this one is Harissa baked chicken and you've got some new potatoes there, loads of veg and sweet mash and stuff. Absolutely delicious. Put some sriracha sauce and some pepper over it and Bob's your uncle. So, first item was Alexa, turn off. Alexa, Alexa, turn off. It's really pying me. Alexa, turn off. Okay, Will got me an Alexa for my birthday and it's not liking me yet, but hey. So, first item is this green hat, which is like a suede, which I got from a Rylan, which is quite cool. Let's get into the outfits and I'll show you the looks. Let's go. Right then guys, item number one is this black check jacket from River Island. I wear a size large in this and it fits absolutely perfect. I haven't gone for oversized, but if you were looking for a, like an oversized kind of fit, then probably go for an XL or just go for a size up. I love this kind of look. For me, it is just simple and go-to everyday kind of menswear. Like, you were never gonna go wrong in it. If you're running late and really in a rush, then you can just chuck on black and white and it will never let you down. So guys, item number two is a white Tokyo short sleeve t-shirt and I picked up size medium. Gents, if you're anything like me and go through white t-shirts more than any other item in your drawer, then this is just a really standard one to pick up. It's not muscular fit, it's just a regular fitting tee. As you can see, the arms aren't too baggy, they're not too tight, just a perfect fit. And I really like the Tokyo logo on the front as well. For me, that's just like a cool little added effect to spicing up your look as well. So yeah, worth checking that one out guys, for sure. And swiftly moving on to item number three is the Black Skull Graphic Slim Fit Sweatshirt. Now, I love these kind of fits. The jumper is just so nice and comfortable. You can wear it almost all the time with a range of different outfits. And I really like the texture of the material on the logo as well. It's like a really soft kind of fabric. So yeah, really worth checking that out and it is true to size. And moving on to item number four, and I do not need to give these an intro because you know how much I wear them. If you follow me on Instagram, I always go on about River Island denim and these are the blue Dylan slim fit jeans. I get them in 32 regulars all the time and the fit is just not too skinny, not too slim. So definitely worth checking them out. So item number five are these gray cargo utility skinny fit trousers. Not something that I'd usually tend to put in my wardrobe, only ever so often I'd wear them, but I'm telling you, utility trousers like this are massively coming back into fashion. Wear them with a really cool pair of bold trainers and it's just gonna look really street style and really cool. And last but not least are these navy textured slim fit joggers. I just needed a new pair of joggers and these are actually a combo between smart and casual but they are so comfortable. The only thing I recommend to you guys is always go a size down. These are size small because they come up quite big. That's me done guys. If you like any of these items I've shown then I'll leave all the links in the description box below. So first day shops are open, first day hairdressers are open, first day pub gardens are open and UK is going slowly back into a bit of normality which is great and the thing I'm doing on this Monday evening which is not going for a pint in a garden, is actually just going for an evening stroll. Because <laughs> it was my birthday on uh, Saturday, I drank far too much. So right now, I'm not really thinking about drinking anything until at least the weekend anyway. So what I usually like to do just to clear out the mind and just chill out and spend some me time, just go for a little stroll. So I'm gonna go around Notting Hill, get the steps in, and then I'm gonna come home, chill out, crack on with editing this video, and then probably get an early night because last night, as I said earlier, I did not sleep very well whatsoever. And phew, this boy's got to get his beauty sleep. So I'm going to go for the walk and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So good to see that. Oh, would you look at that? So 
12,847 steps to end the day. As one thing we are so lucky for right here is this glorious, glorious sunset, which looks beautiful from our park. So whilst I was out, it was so, so nice to see so many people supporting all these local businesses and eating out, even though you're only allowed to eat outdoors at the moment, it was just so nice. And I know they've been suffering massively, but personally for me right now, it's not something I really want to be going to do is getting drunk and drinking loads because I just know I'll wake up tomorrow and be exhausted and just have like a fuzzy kind of brain and not be able to get shit done. And I guess when you kind of work for yourself and you write down your goals, you kind of want to succeed and achieve them. And if I go and write them down and I do achieve them, then it makes me want to get to the next one and the next one. So yeah, for me getting drunk right now on a Monday is I what I know will just be a bit of a mistake. So it's not really worth it. For me, it's like those short term things of pleasure are great, but in the long term, that's not really going to be beneficial. And so yeah, I've got to be doing those small daily habits that are going to, because all like those small daily habits all added up are just gonna make you more successful in the long run and I totally believe that. So for me tonight, just chill out, get crack on with a few bits and just, uh, yeah, focus on that. Hey Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.55 p.m. It's time for bedtime. So even though we're basically coming out of lockdown, haven't had one bit of FOMO whatsoever, <laughs> which is quite a good thing, but cracked on a little bit of work tonight. Will was just chilling as well and he was doing a bit of his editing and I did some editing as well and now I'm just in bed. I've got my trusty little journal and notepad here. Basically every evening before I go to bed I like to write down my plan for tomorrow because then it like gives me structure and I know exactly what I need to get done and do. And then also I write down like my stuff and by stuff on that I mean basically I can't just write down anything that's going in my head. And I had to put it on paper and it makes me feel a lot less anxious and makes me sleep much better. Even though I did this last night, I still didn't sleep very well. But that's only probably because um, I had quite a lot of drink on Saturday night and I was probably still having the effects and the come down from it a little bit. But hey, I think tonight I'm going to sleep well. So, been a good day, productive. Like, nice to see the whole world opening up again a little bit. But guys, if you've enjoyed this little like vlog kind of video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please leave a comment down below and let me know again if you guys want to see more of these kind of videos let me know i'll make them for you but um yeah look forward to catching up with you guys again soon peace